Hey, how you doing today? My name is Ryan. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we are jumping back into Hollow Knight and uh, I've gotten this uh, request more than a couple of times and it is how to beat Markholf in the Pantheon of Hollow Nest. And so what we're going to do is make sure we have the correct charms on. Uh, typically when I'm going through the Pantheon of Hollow Nest in general, I'm running Sharp Shadow, Unbreakable Strength, Mark of Pride, and Shaman Stone. Uh, the Sharp Shadow is obviously not going to help you at all when it comes to fighting Markholf, but um, it might. It, it's one of those things. You, you gotta you gotta use the charms that are gonna help you out the most while you're doing this. So when you go to attempt Markholf, practice in the Ascended mode because it's not gonna help you out whatsoever. The the thing is that when you are doing the Path of Pain, he will have the the same health as with Attuned, but you need to practice not having all of the platforms there, and that's why we want to practice in Ascended, and you want to do this over and over and over again until you're beating it like 90% of the time. Once you practice it enough, you're going to realize that it, it's really not that bad. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in with Ascended. Uh, remember, this is going to be harder than what you need to do. Um, but essentially, you just want to hit him with a bunch of great slashes. Um, so that way you can stay a little bit further away. And just remember, you don't even really have to move that far to, to dodge. Ooh, uh, I spoke too soon. Um, to dodge these nails that are coming around, you, you really don't have to over dodge. You can just kind of stay on a platform and, and get used to to staying in one spot. I think that's one thing is, is you need to get comfortable not doing too much, you know? Literally one of the best things you can do is just practice just staying on one platform and then also just avoiding more half at the same time. And then whenever he opens himself up, always use your nail in this first phase. And just just really get used to the, to the timing of that shield, the dream shield that's around Markov, right? So just keep doing this over and over again. Do not use your soul. Don't use it to heal. You want to have as much soul as possible, and then get out of there. Just hit him a little bit. Get out of there. Again, great slash is going to be the way to go for whenever he does get close. And so once we get him over to two shields. This is where you want to get yourself to a nice opening and then you just want to use your spells as much as possible. If you can get an Abyss Shriek in, even better. But hopefully you're going to get these double hits off. Just like that. Oof. And uh, hopefully you won't miss your Abyss Shriek. Cha -cha 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 -cha. I always like to kind of stick to one platform and have it be kind of the, the happy place, if you will. Once twice around and then I go after him get a couple of hits in and then get out of there right try not to be too aggressive I do like to hold on to the great slash whenever possible but sometimes it's it's tough and sometimes you can get a couple of hits in if you don't have it going got lucky on that one got a bunch of hits hold the great slash I wasn't keeping track of where the dream shield was. All right, so now he's got two. He's right above me. That would have been a decent spot to do the Abyss Shriek. But we're just looking for openings to be able to... Oh, here we go. We're going to get an Abyss Shriek in right here. And he's done. Just like that. Just a little bit of practice. I, I don't know how many times that was, but... Uh, Taking only one hit, I'll take it. I was I just had to brush off some of the cobwebs. I was a little bit rusty there, but I'm telling you, just a little bit of practice. Make sure to save all of your soul until that second dream shield comes out, and you'll be able to just take him out as quickly and easily as possible. Like that's that's the best thing that you could possibly do is just save all of your soul. Uh, if you're lucky, you've also got a little bit of soul left over from the boss just before Morkov. Um, you're going to get it. Just keep practicing and you're going to get it. Good luck getting through the Pantheon of Hollow Nest. There's a couple of bosses that are, that are really, really tough. And this is one of them. So good luck. My name is Relia and I'll talk to you again more real soon. Thanks. Bye.